we invite you now to visit the homes. It is in these most unusual homes that we work with some of the most difficult people in the world. Here, the rich soil of South Texas provides vegetables in abundance for serving more than 2,000 meals a day. In our food processing plant, vegetables are quickly prepared by our boys and men, then frozen for future use. Fresh milk is a vital part of good nutrition for growing youngsters. All of our homes serve milk twice each day. Our first home on the tour is the Anchor. In this building, the boys eat, sleep, and go to school. The enrollment is maintained at 100. These young boys are now being given their first opportunity to live in a totally Christian atmosphere. Every day is fully built around the Word of God. Christian principles are interwoven into every activity. They are loved, taught cleanliness, respect for each other, and how to let Christ live in their lives each day. They're taught responsibility, work, and what it means to do your part. Most of these boys come to us suffering from malnutrition. They have to be completely retrained as to their eating and drinking habits. No junk food is allowed in our home at any time. They respond quickly and soon begin to love the right food. Since our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, we believe they should be properly nourished. The boys must keep their dorm clean. They're taught to take care of their own clothes. Their studies will prepare them for college, or some other useful place in society. The state of Texas closed this home for 27 months. Can you imagine a crime of such magnitude being committed against young boys like these? A short distance from the anchor is the lighthouse for young men ages 18 through 25. Since its beginning in 1958, the Lighthouse has seen hundreds of young men saved to go out in society to serve God. Our intense Bible training program, together with physical training, help these young men to grow up both spiritually and physically. The Lighthouse was actually started down the Intercoastal Canal. Young men come directly from the courts to this isolated spot, completely separated from the outside world, to give Christ a chance to do for them what the world could not do. I'm praise God this morning that the Lord has done great things. Johnny Downs from Houston, Texas, ago, was sent by the courts to us over three years ago. Christ has saved him and completely changed his life. He's now in school preparing for the ministry. After eight felony convictions, the Lord brought me to the lighthouse. And you say, well, what happened to you? Well, I'll tell you what happened to me. Over there in John chapter 15 and verse 3, best explains it where the Lord Jesus Christ said, now are you clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And it's been the word of God that's done the work in my life. They accused Brother Roloff of brainwashing us here. And I'd have to say, and stand here this morning and say that the Word of God has truly washed my mind of all the filth and the trash that had been put up. The finest washed water in the world, the old King James. Night fishing is an experience for the boys six nights a week. Spin reels are used to catch speckled trout during the night. The boys fish a two-hour shift each night. The fish are kept in baskets in the water so they can stay alive until morning. The fish are then brought in to the filleting tables for processing. The 
boys become expert in the filleting of fish. The filleting process consists of cutting the sides of the fish off, then removing the skin from the sides, and the fillet is what you have left. The fillet is then washed and made ready for packaging. Within one hour, the fillet will be flown to the farm and placed in our freezers. Chapel service on the intercoastal is always a blessing, especially when Brother Roloff is the preacher. are in boot camp learning the basic principles of what the Christian life is all about. Many will get rooted and grounded here and go on to make strong Christian men. This is a tough place, but it turns out tough boys. Tough enough to say no to temptation when they go back home. <laughs> 